Hi there and welcome back. So we are reviewing the nervous system. What is the heart of the nervous system? And I am using the word heart. The heart of the nervous system is the brain. So when we have to understand how our brain works, we will have to really put our heart into it. We reviewed in the very first video of this presentation series that we don't know how we breathe, but we breathe, we don't search for the oxygen, we inhale, we don't intentionally get rid of the carbon dioxide, it just happens as we exhale. Uh, we reviewed the difference between the mirror image and the real image, uh, the gore created eye, so on and so forth, how we move our tongues, how the particular words are drawing out of our mouth. Uh, we are not trained how to bend our tongue. Things happen, whether we are awake or whether we are sleeping. Voluntarily or involuntarily, things are happening. Anything we see, perceive, uh, things happen inside our nervous system, inside our brain the billions of tiny neurons the neurotransmitter from dendrite to neurotransmitters and beyond the things are happening so let's put our heart to understand brain so in this video we will be focusing on the brain so we all are used to using our laptops, smartphones, smart TVs, refrigerator, so on and so forth, right? The God has created our human body just like a living computer. And the CPU that we have in our computer or in our body is the brain. Uh, you can give the analogy of smartphone, refrigerator, sleep. Unless and until we forget anything and everything, we won't fall asleep. But when we are sleeping, still our brain works. Heart pumps. Blood gets circulated from head to toe. So what exactly these billions of neurons are doing when we are sleeping? Imagine there is a malfunction of the refrigerator. So whatever pizza that we really enjoyed while having our dinner, the leftover we put it in the refrigerator. The next day morning, if there is a malfunction in the working of the refrigerator, whatever food we have kept may, may be spoiled, right? How our memory remains intact, yet frozen, we are not awake we are not dead, we are sleeping. But unless we forget the entire world, we won't fall asleep. As soon as we get up, we get our memories back. How that happens? Refrigerator, what it does, it maintains the temperature. How in our body, the needed or the required temperature is maintained. Brain or the nervous system controls all these things and they in conjunction with like a teamwork of underwriters, field partners and the customers. So the nervous system works with all the other systems that God has created in our body to make it work. So I am giving the analogy of heart. You can select your own organ but that's what it is uh, the brain is the ultimate digital memory or you can say the command center is the primary center for regulating and coordinating body activities knowingly unknowingly intentionally unintentionally uh, whether we are awake or whether we are sleeping so on and so forth okay so we'll get into the details of the brain some overview and the anatomy. Different parts in the brain controls different aspects and does different functions. And the largest part of the brain that we have is called cerebrum. 
and the outer nervous tissue of the cerebrum is known as cerebral cortex and you will see in the slide that eventually I will show you that there are elevated portions and there are depressed portions uh, the medical fancy names given for those are respectively uh, gyri and sulky uh, those are the elevated portions and the depressed portions that we have and then uh, if we break it down further and move on the cerebral hemispheres are the paired halves of the cerebrum each hemisphere is subdivided into four major lobes named for the skull bones that overlie them okay so seeing is believing so these are the frontal lobe, occipital lobe, parietal lobe and temporal lobe. Now anything and everything that we do, different functions that we have been talking about from hearing, reason, taste, all other activities are coordinated, you name it, intellect, everything and there are fancy names given to the anatomy and physiology uh, you can take your time to review at your convenience uh, the gyrus and, and sulcus are the gyri and sulci the singular plural elevated portion and the depressed portion and this is a better view to understand so this is gyrus and this is sulcus elevated and depressed portion those are the medical terms the gyri are the ridges and the sulci are the grooves that appear on the wrinkled surface of the brain so now you know something you can use to impress your agent and or your customer yet another view of sulci and gyri so we can have a laundry list of functions of the brain but just to give a quick overview the cerebrum has many functions and remember the largest portion in the brain that we have is cerebrum so cerebrum covers our thought, judgment, memory, association, uh, discrimination, you name it then we have a perception, right? so how perception is formed what happens inside the brain then uh, the afferent nerves, efferent nerves we have been talking about in the previous uh, video now depending upon the locations in the cerebral cortex uh, that control the speech, vision, smell, movement, hearing, thought process you name it so this is a good slide, I like this as it provides a voluntary moment to all the all the things that we have been talking about language comprehension vision processing sensory info voluntary moments thoughts personality speech formation smell learning emotions hearing you name it everything happens in the brain yet another view and this would have a different law and depending upon the location the parts of the brain the law it will have a different functions so that is another uh, quick laundry list of what our brain does so this is just to give you an overview of what brain does we have a lot to cover i will see you soon take care bye bye